Hi class! In this video, we will discuss the determination of the rectilinear area by radial traversing. The needed instruments are the range poles, the theodolite, chalk or marking pins, and your tape. The first step in this fieldwork is to choose four corners of an arbitrary field, then mark or drive marking pins on each corner, labeling them A, B, C, and D. Next, Choose a central point O and make sure all corner points are visible from this point. Have the tape men measure the distances of the central point from each corner. Considering point O as the origin, we call these distances as radial distances. So the distances of point O to A, O to B, O to C, and then O to D. Afterwards, Set up the theodolite at point O. Make sure to level the bubbles of this instrument. Next, adjust the telescope of the theodolite until the vertical micrometer scale is at zero reading. Then tighten the vertical clamp to make sure the telescope is perfectly horizontal throughout the entire fieldwork. Next, have the rod man hold the range pole at the first corner of the field which is point A. Rotate the theodolite horizontally and sight this range pole. After making sure the range pole is vertical and the crosshair intersects the range pole, set the horizontal micrometer scale to zero reading. So at this point, both horizontal and vertical scales are at zero reading. Tighten the horizontal clamp to make sure the telescope remains aligned to point A when we move the range pole. Next, move the range pole to the adjacent corner, moving in a clockwise direction. So the next point is B. Next, release the horizontal clamp on the theodolite and rotate the instrument clockwise until the range pole at B is sighted through the telescope. Tighten the horizontal clamp at this point to avoid movement of the theodolite. Record the reading on the horizontal micrometer scale. In this case, the reading was 47 degrees and 50 minutes. Afterwards, set the horizontal reading to zero once more, and then repeat the steps for the succeeding points C and D until you return to point A. Now remember, the sum of the horizontal angles measured should be 360 degrees since they are the central angles of a closed traverse. Next, transfer the theodolite to another location where all the corner points are also visible and label it point P. Repeat the entire procedure once more and gather a new set of data as a second trial for this fieldwork. Combining all those readings, you will get something like this as shown in the figure. So the field was divided into four triangles, and the radial distances measured were the two sides of each triangle. The horizontal angle measured was the included angle for each triangle as well. Using the data gathered, we can get the area of each triangle, which is just one half AB sine theta, where A and B are the measured radial distances, and theta is the central angle measured. So starting with A1, area is one half times 6.34 times 7.02 sine 47 degrees 50 minutes, which is equal to 16.49 meters squared. Then do the same computation for A2, A3, and A4. We'll get the values 15.38, 8.58, 13.46 meters squared, respectively. Finally, to get the total area of this field, just get the sum of the areas of each triangle. So A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, you'll get 53.91 meters squared. Repeat the computations for the data gathered when the theodolite is at point P. So doing all that, we'll get the total area as 53.96 meters squared. And now, the final area of the field is just the mean value of the two computed areas. So 53.91 plus 53.96 over 2 will get 53.94 meters squared. And that is the area of our arbitrary field. Now, for the preliminary data sheet, copy all of these values onto our table as shown here. So it will look like this. 
Once again, A and B are the sides. Theta is the included angle of each triangle. Write the computed area of each trial and the most probable area over here. As usual, include sample computation and sketch. Your sketch can just be the figure used for computation like this. I'll be uploading the sample class values for you to use in your computation. So that's it for this fieldwork. Goodbye class!